Okay, so here in Adobe Illustrator we have our logo that we have just designed. This is what we want it to look like up above our reception desk or wherever it might go. The first thing I want to go over is outlining text. If you send us a design with a font that is not in our system, Adobe Illustrator will replace it with one that is in our system. To make sure this doesn't happen, you need to make your text uneditable. At the moment, I can still type whatever I want into this bit of text. We need to outline this, and we do this by going into the Type menu and select Create Outlines, or by using the shortcut Command Shift O or Control Shift O if you are using a PC. Now we've done that, you'll see that this text is now outlined, and also we can no longer edit this text in terms of what the text reads. Just a note, the most important thing about setting up your artwork in Illustrator is your artwork needs to be at 100% scale. This means if you want your artwork, your logo or sticker, to be 100 centimeters wide on the wall, you need to be working on it in Illustrator at 100 centimeters wide. So we have the design that wants to be printed. So now what we need to do is create three different layers of our design. You can do this in the layers menu. An Alt or Option click and drag out two more layers. Now we're going to name these three layers Print, Bleed and Cut. These are important for different reasons. The cut layer is what our cutter will actually see and this is the final outline of what we will cut and then what you will put up on your wall. The bleed layer is very important. This gives an edge to the design outside of where the cutter will cut. This just gives a bit of forgiveness if the cutter goes out at all. This stops you getting small white lines around your logo. And finally, the print layer is what you will see when it is all finished. Let's start on the cut layer. So what we need to do is select the whole logo and change the colour to black. But not just any black, it has to be a black that our cutter can recognise. You can do this by creating a new swatch over in the swatch menu. For the name, it has to be Cut Contour with capital C's and no space. The colour type should be Spot Colour, colour mode CMYK, and take CMY down to 0% and K up to 100%. Click OK and your new swatch will now be in the menu. So make sure that the whole logo is this black. We also need to make sure that only the outline is cut. We don't want these blue lines here to be cut. So what we do here is select the whole logo, go into Pathfinder menu and click Unite. Now only the outline will be cut. Also if you select the layer up here and change your layer colour to magenta, this just makes it super easy for us to see where your cut line should be. The next layer we need to move on to is the bleed layer. Remember, this is to ensure you don't get any white lines around your logo when it's cut. To do this, go into the object menu, then down to path and select offset path. This needs to be 5mm or 0.5cm and this is when your artwork is at 100%. So if you wanted your artwork to be 100cm wide, the bleed would need to be 5mm. Once you've done this, your artwork will look like this, with your cut line underneath. As you can see here, the gradients on this design haven't duplicated perfectly, so with that, it is just a case of going through them and adjusting them. It can be tedious and takes a bit of time, but it will make sure your logo doesn't have like light blue lines here if the cutter goes out at all. You will also want to adjust the bleed where the two sections of bleed overlap. You can do this by using the direct select tool on the edge of the bleed. The bleed wants to be the same colour as the print above it. So there we go, we have our bleed line with our cut line underneath, and now we send this to us as an Adobe Illustrator file.